There's been a lot of debate here in Washington about how the state should use the tax money that it gets from marijuana purchases. One viewer wrote to us saying that she thought it was supposed to go to schools and asked if that's actually happening. King 5's Jake Wittenberg looked into it. Viewer Alice wrote to King 5 saying, quote, the marijuana taxes were supposed to go to help schools. Are the schools getting any money? Where that money goes has been a hot topic since voters legalized recreational marijuana in Washington in 2012. We decided to verify, is the cannabis tax money actually going to the schools, and if so, what's it funding? Here are our sources, Washington's Office of Financial Management, the state's Liquor and Cannabis Board, and the Office of the Superintendent of Public Instruction. The short answer is yes. Some of the cannabis tax money does go to the schools, but it's not a lot in the grand scheme of things, and it's not earmarked for specific projects. The Office of Financial Management and OSPI say roughly $520,000 a year goes to OSPI directly from the dedicated marijuana account. It is small, but mighty. Dixie Gruenfelder is the executive director of student engagement and support at OSPI. She says that money funds a program called Building Bridges. It is used to support schools in developing comprehensive student support systems, identifying students that are at risk of disengaging from school and also students who have left school to re-engage them back into the educational system. The rest of the money from the cannabis tax is distributed to a number of places, including the state's general fund which does give money to the schools, but there's no way to know exactly how much, and it has no direct tie to the cannabis tax revenue. Let's look at 2021. For example, the state reported it collected a little more than $555 million in cannabis tax that year. That's only 0.09% directly going to a school program. It's very critical. Of course, we would all like more money, but we are happy with the revenue that we get. So was the cannabis tax revenue ever intended to go to the schools? Initiative 502, which voters passed in 2012, says passing the initiative, quote, generates new state and local tax revenue for education, health care, research, and substance abuse prevention. So the word education may not mean exactly what you think it does. The state's Liquor and Cannabis Board says the marijuana revenue was never supposed to go to schools, and it's primarily been used for health care, public awareness campaigns, and research. It explained that education may refer to money for the Department of Health to do a public education campaign. So we can verify, yes, a portion of the cannabis tax revenue does go to schools, but it's not to fully fund the schools. With your Verify, I'm Jake Wittenberg. It's a lot less money going to schools compared to what some other states do. Colorado, for example, spends a good portion of its marijuana tax revenue on schools. Last year, that was nearly 13% of its total marijuana tax revenue, more than $53 million. The Washington legislature can decide where the marijuana revenue goes as long as it follows the original intent of the initiative. Right now, the biggest chunk of money goes to helping the state pay for the cost of health care for low-income families. If you have something you want us to verify, send us an email at verify at king5.com.